What's up guys, Seth here with TomorrowsFilmmakers.com, the largest online film academy in the world, and today we'll be diving into the topic of what to do when you find yourself in a creative rut. As filmmakers and content creators, we obviously rely on our creativity to make and produce everything that we have. Whether it be creativity in an edit or trying to figure out how to work through problems on a set, creativity is the most powerful tool that we have and we wanna make sure that it stays that way. Unfortunately, sometimes though, we can find ourselves struggling with being creative and get into seasons where we're stuck. This isn't fun as a filmmaker because it can make us feel like we're not good enough or even worse, stop creating altogether. This happens many times if you're creating YouTube videos constantly or maybe you're doing video work for a company that doesn't really demand much from you. You're constantly working on videos that are boring or you get discouraged and start to want to quit. Today though, I wanna share some advice and tips on how to get out of those dry seasons and get back to using your full creative potential. We'll walk you through some things to get out of that creative rut and get you back to making the best videos you possibly can. Now, if you wanna learn everything about what to do with that creativity though, inside our full course at tomorrowsfilmmakers.com, we have over a thousand training videos and over a hundred hours of content on every single aspect of filmmaking taught by leading professionals in the film industry. We've taught over 50 15,000 students in over 50 countries and a lifetime membership to our award-winning $800 film course is only 97 bucks. If you want to take advantage of this crazy deal, you can check out our website in the link below and head on over to tomorrowsfilmmakers.com to learn more. As a filmmaker, we've all been there and we all know what the creative struggle feels like and if you haven't, well, you're lying. Creativity comes and goes in waves. Your creative juices might be flowing so well in the morning and then by the time the afternoon hits, you've got nothing left. Or it might span over a longer period of time. You could be creatively gifted for a season like days, weeks, and even months, and then you hit a wall for what could be days, weeks, and yes, even months where your creative thinking is struggling. If you're in that season of your career or just wanna know some tips on how to enhance your creativity even more every day, this video is for you. I'll share with you some things that I've learned over the years that helped me with getting my creative juices flowing again and get out of that rut that most filmmakers find themselves in. One of the biggest things I suggest doing is to just switch things up. I preach this a lot because routines can be good, but when those routines start to affect your mental and creative state, then you know you gotta change something up. I personally can't go long doing the same thing over and over. My body and mind just won't allow me to. So I'm always making sure that I change something up in my daily routine to keep life interesting and to keep my creativity at the highest level. Even the smallest changes could help. You won't know until you try. If you're editing or working in the same place every time, maybe try changing up your scenery. If you're always in your office or room editing, then go to a different room, go outside, or even drive somewhere like a coffee shop and start editing there. You'd be surprised by how much this helps. When we see the same things over and over again, we can start to get depressed and unmotivated. Sometimes a change of environment gives us the kick that we need. And it might not seem like it, but even changing up things in your daily routine that don't have anything to do with filmmaking could make an impact on your creative thinking. Just try out different things, switch up locations, and change the way you're going about your day. All it takes is just one small change in your routine and patterns, which could then lead to so many new ideas and enhance that creative ability more than you could have imagined. Now, the second tip I wanna suggest is one of the bigger ones that I put into action for just about every project that I do, and that is to make sure you warm up and are in the right mindset before tackling any creative project. This could be going into an edit, prepping for a shoot, or planning a new idea. Just like with working out or playing a sport, you always wanna make sure you're properly warmed up before going into that action. That way your body and mind is ready for the activity that you're about to do. The same applies for filmmaking. I tend to do this mostly before I jump into an edit. One of my favorite things to do to warm up before an edit is to go on YouTube or Instagram and watch other creative videos that are similar to what I'm creating. For example, if you're about to go into editing a music video, warm up first by going on YouTube and watching other music videos. This not only gets you in the right mindset, but also sparks creativity and captures ideas that you can implement into your project. Don't just sit down and start cutting some clips together. Get excited and warmed up first. Another thing I'll do before editing or even shooting is listen to some songs that are in a creative playlist of mine. I would highly recommend making a playlist of songs that you can put to a video edit or that generate creative ideas. When I'm on the way to a shoot, I start envisioning a video to that song and it gets me ready for coming up with creative ideas in a project. Whatever you have to do to get in that creative mindset before shooting or editing, do it. Properly warming up and having the right mindset is crucial to maximizing your creativity and getting you ready for the creative challenges ahead. 
This next tip should be pretty obvious, but it's frightening how many times us creators can fall into a bad habit of not taking care of ourselves when working hard on a project. It's good that we love our passion and jobs and we wanna create everything we possibly can, but we have to make sure we're taking care of our mental and physical attributes as well. Doing this will then lead to a healthy mind and body and will aid in enhancing that creativity as much as possible. Getting plenty of sleep, eating well, and working out are not only crucial things that help us in our day-to-day -day lives, but will also make your job as a filmmaker so much easier. Getting the proper amount of sleep each night ensures that we have plenty of rest and energy to go throughout the day at high performance. Now don't get me wrong, Having those late night editing sessions are fun and rewarding, but make sure not to fall into a bad habit of doing that all the time to where it starts messing with your creative abilities and everyday life. Keeping your body healthy is crucial as well. Eating well and getting in a good workout before I go into an edit or shoot helps me tremendously. When I do this, my day starts off right, and it's been proven for me that it helps a ton with my creative thinking skills. Again, this is some obvious advice, but just because it's obvious doesn't mean we all do it. Staying healthy and taking care of yourself is vital, especially when needing to get back to your creative ways. The next piece of advice is a simple one, just take a break. I fall into this trap myself of overworking and exhausting my creative energy to the point where I don't know when to stop. I love what I do, which is a blessing, but it can also be a curse if not careful. Working hard and being consistent on projects is great, but it's very important to know when you should take a break because the break is just as important as the work itself. If you're stuck on a certain shot or you can't get this music to fit just right, get in your car and drive to the gas station. Go for a quick walk outside, do something to take a break. We would suggest not just closing out the project and start watching YouTube videos, but get out of your current environment to give your mind a break. Don't stay in the same place, get out of there. Like I said, this is a simple thing to do like a lot of these tips, but just because it's simple doesn't mean it's easy. Just get your mind off that creative work you're doing and let yourself relax for a bit. Also make sure that you're not working day after day after day. Again, I fall into this bad habit myself of working on the weekends or many days in a row without rest, which is fine if you need to get something done, but if it gets to the point where your creative quality starts to lack, then you know it's time for a break. Take a day or two off. Take weekends off, shoot, even travel somewhere if you have to. I'll take extended breaks sometimes just for the heck of it and when I come back to start creating again, I feel so refreshed and ready to tackle all my projects with quality and creativity. I can't stress enough how important it is to ensure that you're letting yourself rest and taking breaks because this will absolutely get you out of that creative rut and it's something so simple to do. Another great thing to do to keep your creative juices flowing well is to try and clean or organize your editing space. Now this is one that I personally love to do because I'm OCD and everything on my desk and in my room has to be organized and looking neat and if it's not, I'll make sure it is before I even start working. And it doesn't even have to be that your room or desk is messy and you need to clean it up. Maybe your space is already clean and organized and you're still lacking in creativity. In this case, I would even just suggest moving things around and reorganizing it. You never know. Having the space that you edit in look different than it was yesterday might aid in your creative ability. I know that this one can be different for some people because they like working in a cluttered environment, but most of the time it can start to make you feel enclosed, claustrophobic, and wanting to leave. Just getting everything off your desk can make a big difference. Even if you just put everything in a basket to sort through later, just get it off your desk for a clean environment to let your creativity roam free. And if you are getting tired of the exact same space, shoot, maybe even try to paint your walls a different color. There's some studies that show that certain colors can actually enhance creative thinking, so painting your walls of your room that you edit in a different color might aid in that. Bottom line here is, you want your creative space to be neat and organized, and changing things up on your desk or walls might not be a bad idea either. Do what you gotta do to spark some fresh creativity. The last tip I got for you guys is one that you might not think about at first, but seems kinda obvious if you do think about it, and that is to just try and utilize all your filmmaking equipment that you own, or in other words, challenge yourself with each project. The danger of getting comfortable is that we can do the same things over and over again, and it starts to feel just like a nine to five job. That passion for filmmaking is gone because all you do is interviews over and over and over again. Challenging yourself though can be applied to physical camera gear and editing assets as well. If we have a client that wants us to do some recap videos of a camp for the entire summer, using the same camera with the same lens and same setup every time you go out to shoot isn't a bad thing, but if you're starting to lack creativity on your shoots, you need to begin challenging yourself. I like to ask myself, what piece of equipment am I not comfortable with? Or even, what filmmaking skill am I lacking in? Then, I'll make sure that the specific project involves what I'm not confident in. If you're not really good with a gimbal, make your next project very gimbal heavy. 
Or if you really need to work on your color correcting, shoot everything in log on purpose to force yourself to be creative and learn. It might be out of your comfort zone to use different camera gear or gear that you don't use a lot, but outside of your comfort zone is where creativity starts to flow. Another thing you could do is even rent some new gear for a shoot. I've done this a few times where I was going on a travel shoot and I just wanted something new to shoot with, but didn't want to buy it. Renting gear is perfect for this. And this doesn't just have to be on set. Utilizing different tools in your editor applies here as well. Maybe try using different effects or cuts while going through your timeline. I've actually created some pretty cool sequences just by trying to find different tools that I don't normally use and utilizing them on my shots. Trying new things isn't always fun or comfortable, but creativity doesn't lie in the comfort zone. Start using camera gear and editing assets that you don't normally use and the outcome will surely be something different. But remember this, no matter what you do, sometimes there will be some projects that you just can't seem to spark creativity for. This is just a part of being a filmmaker. You try and try, but this project is just really boring. And what do we do in that instance? We push through anyway. Some projects are just duds, but we can't let it rub off on our joy for filmmaking or our joy in life. You must push through and move on to the next project. Don't procrastinate and let this boring project take you four times longer than it should just because you don't want to do it. Creativity is the most powerful tool that we have as a filmmaker, but we have to make sure that we're able to spark that creativity as much as possible, especially when it starts to die out. Put these tips into action and ensure that your creative ability stays as healthy as possible. Now, I hope this video has helped you guys out and will give you the confidence to get that excitement and creativity back to your projects. As always, if you'd like to learn what you can do with that creative ability, you can check out our full course at tomorrowsfilmmakers.com. We have over a thousand training videos and over a hundred hours of content on every single subject of filmmaking that you can imagine. If you'd like to join over 15,000 other filmmakers just like you, pursue their dreams and learn all about film, click the link below and sign up for our full academy for 90% off a lifetime membership to our award-winning $800 film course for only 97 bucks. So click the link in the description and head on over to tomorrowsfilmmakers.com to learn all the skills that you need to succeed. All right, go ahead and take a sip. You're so stupid.